Ladies and gems, thank you for joining me. I am Mo and we are going to be playing roughly one hour of Life is Strange. This will be part four of this video series and if you haven't seen the previous parts of this video series, I'd recommend going to see those first. Now that we've caught up, I want you to sit back, relax and get comfortable. As I hold your hand through this life, welcome to Life is Strange. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. It's so fluid how it goes back into the gameplay, but before we kind of find these five bottles, we're gonna go ahead and check Le Journal. <laughs> yeah, everything's becoming French here for some reason. I blame uh, one Chris Jericho. Um, but where were we? Where were we? We were in the journal somewhere. Um, uh, where is the journal? Prologue? Monday? Tuesday? I guess this is Tuesday. Episode, uh, two. Uh, yeah, we can skip back a little bit. How far, how far, what page were we on? That's the question. Did you see that? It's 140, which is a clue to four. Okay, we'll check that. Yeah, sure. We'll check it in a sec. Um... I think we we're page 21 or did we read 21 read 22 meters of uh, snap me out of the dream um, woke up this morning a different person after the, 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 the. maybe we were on page 23 22 okay so let's do 20 from 22 uh, so then Chloe snapped me out of the dream and I told her what I saw and as if to make the day end on another unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in a warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous, and beautiful all at once. And I've read this page, so I'm just gonna. I might as well finish off. Especially standing there with uh, my best friend, and on that positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. October the eighth. I woke up this morning a very well. I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows yet. After yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life, among the other cray cray, as Victoria might say, say, events at Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter all on time and physics research not being warren i ended up knowing less about my situation than when i started i don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected but at this point i have no fucking clue what to believe i'm just so glad that chloe and i are a team again that has to be destiny now i have to hit the showers and get ready to meet chloe for bro now i have to hit the <laughs> let's try that again i'm gonna sip some water actually so I've been doing the sipping water thing, so like I've got my big jug of water. I don't sip the green tea. It's like we don't do illegal sips of green tea anymore. And we have water. Water is good for hydrating anyway. 
But now I have time to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. Right, okay, yeah. I truly don't understand how they got off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear that's like Battle Royale. Just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things here weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo goth den. And Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. I guess that's her inner artist, like trying to capture certain, uh, certain things. Uh, I don't know. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just the video. Plus she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER. She thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate considering what kind of a person she is and what kind of a person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she could go to the police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has more proof she was drugged. That video doesn't help her case at all and this could all backfire big time. She's going up against the whole Prescott empire, not just one rich white boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this. How can, how can I blame her? I sometimes wonder what I am actually doing besides getting myself in more trouble. Kate even booted me out of her room. Hello, everyday hero. I ran into Warren, or rather Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell was happening in the parking lot with Chloe and the Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. I told him a little about, I told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. Better. I see I'm doing it. It's, it's, there's times where I don't pronounce my T's and I'm, I'm, I mean, that's my natural way of speaking i think that all of like you know when we say words like uh water i'm speaking of war thank you for the sip of green tea mr dragon 1987 the future nightwolf the man with a thousand and four uh chinese proverbs it looks like by the end of the time we get through all of them thank you for the green tea that's good because you know it warms up the uh the old vocal box you know the box that is in the throat that provides the vocals kind of warms that up so it's good it's good i appreciate it I appreciate the, the opportunity uh, opportunity to allow me to ramble for a, for a moment um, before I get back to reading this. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately, just so he could have his own human time machine, or capture me for scientific experiments, or make me go to the drive-in with him. <laughs> Oh wait, did I say that I would go to the drive-in with him? Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, egomaniac. Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Okay, shut down. Uh, anyway, I hope <laughs> I definitely uh, need a movie escape. So I think Mr. Dragon was very correct. Very correct. He was the, the, the correct in the guesstimation of her feeling towards him. Obviously, yeah, she sees him like a... Uh, a friend. She friend zoned him. I think is the term. <laughs> the scientific term. I've got two more pages here. I've got something stuck on my tongue. 
Uh, before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate. Old ships and a big ocean. Chloe was late, duh. So I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again and, I, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward and... She wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe wasn't... Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed. Though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. What could I say? I can see she, she actually loves David. Even if I don't see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief though. So much drama I haven't, and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally Chloe showed up more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in the bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile but that smile meant trouble since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did and I have to admit I felt like a total boss. Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. Lair? Lair. That's a weird word. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still had to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered and actually felt worse for her. I actually... Uh, sorry. Let's do that again. Rewind. Kate was so happy I answered. I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Okay, so that looks like we're all caught up with her journal, which is cool to do at the end of or at the beginning of the stream. So there might be things that the recap doesn't catch or we might be in the middle of an episode. So this is really cool. I'm also agreeing with like the whole Chloe thing. She seems a bit... Mm, I don't know. It's going to be a handful. Uh, Mr. Dragon, like I said, uh, he has been majorly friend-zoned. A nightball redeeming the zip of green tea. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of set himself up for that, I guess. But before we kind of exit this menu, I'm very curious to see what do we need to keep an eye out for today. So today we're looking for a sketch of something that says 142, which I think someone said they saw. Uh, a doe or a deer. Um, this mystery man who we kind of got a glimpse of right before uh, this portion of the game when we were near the diner. So some kind of a mystery man. We need a mystery man or woman or a figure or a person that we need to take a picture of. Uh, there's a gun in the air. I'm guessing that's Chloe's hand or arm. Uh, we could be wrong. And there's some kind of um, some kind of a vial. Uh, maybe it's not a chemistry class or something like the previous. Uh... Okay, so no, that was for episode two. Okay. Uh, yes, this is where you are now. Yeah, the wonderful Night Wolf. I was going to call you Night Dragon, but that doesn't sound as good. Okay, so the game has saved, as we can see from the squiggly lines on the bottom left of your screens. Um, and we are looking for five balls. So we can see one over here. So let's just go over here and quickly take this. Stupid bottle. Rewind. It's quite cool. Though. I like the fact that we can do this. There must be something we can do to, um, to maybe approach it differently. Or maybe it just falls. I don't know. Maybe we just come back. Let's let's have a little stroll around. Um, if anyone sees this 142 uh, number anywhere, then please make yourselves heard. I would very much appreciate the backseat gaming. We found some syringes here. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Dun, 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 dun. Right in front of you is the 142. Okay, wait, where am I looking? Where am I looking? In full caps as well, just fully just shouting his head off, telling me. I don't know where it is. This is why this is why you're here. Because sometimes I have to focus on so many different things. I kind of lose uh, focus of the primary focus. There's an old doll over here. That's Aww, creepy. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. BB. I want my BB. 
Oh, I'm guessing you're not on that bit in Death Stranding yet, so I won't say anything. Um, but I was standing here when apparently the 142 was right in front of me. Okay, so the 142 is the number of the bus. Of Le Bus. Okay. Um, so there must be a way to take a picture of the bus from somewhere. The yellow banner. Old camera. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Uh, washing machine. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. It's a very interesting way to ask the question. I like that. There's a bottle over here which we can pick up, so we'll take that. Uno. Hello, bottle number one. Four more or, to go. Uh, if you want it in Japanese, each. Or uh, he. I st I'm still learning the two different counting styles in Japanese. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Um, I don't know if we should proceed forward. Um, I saw a photo pop up at the bus. Okay, so let's go back. I mean, I don't think I did. That's why I kind of moved around. But maybe uh, I don't know. We can look at the bus. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. It's so sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. It's hard to believe that was once on the road. So I can't dozens skip of students. Certain things for some reason. Um, but I would have thought that we'd be able to skip something like that. Nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, we've hit the phenomenon that we hit, uh, you know, at least once every session, which is the invisible wall in video games, because every video game has them. Uh, around, what? Next to the ball, was around the time there I saw it pop up. So here? What do you mean? I was here, right? I don't know. I don't think I saw four pop up at any point uh, for this bus. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't see it. I'm gonna keep moving. What's this crate for? Ah, okay. I see. Makes sense. Now we use the crate. We use the crate. How do we? Uh, can we try now? Okay, let's take this. There we go. There we go. Solving those puzzles. Boom! Only three bottles left. Go back a bit. Showed up again. I, like, what are you seeing? I don't know. What, what are you seeing? Are you just fucking with me or something? Warren! Um, we are so going ape. Newberg is 60 miles. We should leave around something. something. Fucking hell, this is so fast. Part of my French. Um, hell yeah, we will view your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Uh, I don't know what he means by we are going ape. Hit me up anytime if you have any questions. We are going ape. Newberg is 60 miles away. Does he mean go ape like what we have here? Go ape? Because go ape is like a safari park where you can climb around uh, trees and stuff and like use zip lines and have this kind of outdoor adventure. Uh, hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed Te Pick. It's your last one. Okay, you can't even spell. Uh. I miss Go Ape too. Did we go Go Ape together? I don't remember. Jas, have we been Go Ape? I've been, I think, t twice or maybe three times. Uh, Mr. Dragon, near the tires. What what tires? Are these, these tires? Was I here? Oh, there you go. That is a really obscure... Um, Look, you know positioning to to you know you've got the whole bus and then they make you kind of um that was a good eye man that was a good eye thank you for noticing that but um that's a very very specific spot to be in um to kind of get the photo okay so it kind of pops up there as well and now it's everywhere 
Now it doesn't. Now it doesn't matter where we go. We can take a photo, which is stupid. Um, but it's fine. At least we kind of figured it out. That's why. That's why we're here, figuring things out. Let's grab this photo. Nice. Pixelated is the name of the bronze trophy. Um, so we have our first of five. That we're gonna aim for today the dough is probably another full opportunity um, but I don't think it's gonna work because um, I feel like beyond repair rest in peace um, hmm, car wreck I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars Um, so the dough was the dough is the perfect photo op. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're gonna we're gonna gain a, it was somewhere here, right? If I remember correctly. Piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. Lowly 90. Heyo, everybody. Heyo, heyo. How are you? Um, we're just, uh, you haven't missed much. I was just doing the, the daily uh, reading session to class about um, Max's journal. So it's basically just kind of recapping what happened yesterday. Where did this dough go? The dough was right here, right? The dough was somewhere here. There's a sign. Uh, we can look at the sign. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Um, I've been here for a bit, but it wouldn't let me say anything. Okay, so it forced you to... The scientific term is lurk, apparently. <clears throat> so it's when you kind of are here, but like you don't say anything. Which is fine, but obviously I, I like to hear what, what your opinions are on things. Apart from Boggle, because, you know, like, I just, I just couldn't care anymore. Like, I just... I just I just don't wanna just don't wanna talk about that. Maybe towards the trees. <laughs> Maybe towards the trees. Um I don't know where this dough is. It was here, because we came around, right? Let's just have a quick jog back. Da -da 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 -da. Washing machine. Washing machines live longer with Calgon. I don't know where that came from. But you know, sometimes these things just happen. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Oh, okay, the dough uh, is over there, right in front of us. Um, so what were the things we needed again? Sorry. Photographic memory Jones. Um, so the dough or the deer, the mystery uh, person, the gun, hand, and the vial of stuff. There's a tree stump. That dough is not real. I don't believe it's real. Can we sit here? so quiet and primordial out here I always feel like the forest is whispering to me like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something I just have to figure out the message This is cool, you could just sit here the whole time. So, quick story time. I actually did this this morning, like very, very early in the morning. Uh, first thing I actually did was I like, went out and then we have like a giant tree left. We have one big tree left because everything kind of got destroyed uh, because our, our neighbors just chopped everything down. But yeah, I just went and sat by the, the, the foot of the uh, tree for a bit. It was, it was really relaxing. Someone suggested it to me a couple of days ago. And I was like, oh, I don't know, like who's got time for that shit? But um, it was pretty cool. It was fun. Uh, and then I just got up and did a shit ton of HIIT. Uh, um, and yeah, that was my very, very early morning. Um, uh, Mr. Dragon 1987. That literally popped into my head as well. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. But that just shows you how good advertising programming can be. And how long-lasting it can be. 
um, because we just it was just there it just came out um, let's see if we can approach the dough just how is work because you're working late today I know there's gonna be nothing there I guarantee you guarantee you the name of the trophy is dynamic range uh, it looks like there's some trains coming by um, a bit manic with work all right cool man yeah well hopefully everything's kind of uh quiets down oh my god special guest sigma kane how's it going um we're just playing episode two of life is strange i am doing intermittent uh storytelling and yeah we're just chilling jazz is still doing some work i need to try this game sometime it looks good it it's really like so this is the reverse of what we were doing before with tales from the borderlands i found it was very dialogue heavy so i'll be not able to get a word in edgewise i couldn't really talk to anyone we couldn't really communicate as much um but with this i find that there's a lot of like i'll do like a reading of her diary <laughs> or her journal at the beginning of every stream but it's it's definitely like very grounded it's a very down-to-earth experience it's uh it's very rooted i like it it's good i think you'll enjoy it too actually um so yeah the picture there i don't think there is a doe in that polaroid i don't see a deer i don't see any animal there's clearly something that's in our head. I say clearly, but it, it's, I mean, it looks that way. Um, and we have three more pictures we need to try and capture. We need to capture the moments. We need to find these Kodak moments three more times tonight. Um, uh, Mr. Dragon is the, I don't know, he's like, maybe he should be Night Hawk instead of Night Wolf. Because I know that we've been saying, you know, the future Night Wolf. And I don't know how many days are up until uh, his contract expires with Twitch, you know. And they allow him to, to actually you know change his uh, screen name maybe he should be night hawk instead of night wolf because his his eyes are on point you know his eyes are on point he found that full opportunity on the bus that i couldn't see for like 10 minutes um i thought he was just ribbing me but he wasn't and we got the follow up and now we have another three there's nothing really up here i'm guessing this is going to be one of those invisible wall situations yes yes okay so let's go around there was a train uh, that we had kind of go past. Uh, yeah, there's no doze there. Yeah, it's, it's in our head. So, for those of you just joining us, it's basically Max. Uh, this is Max, our protagonist. She's going through some stuff in 12th grade, which is the equivalent for us, I think, of year 13. or year, I want to say year 13. Um... And she also has the ability to rewind time, which Anil pointed out the other day would have been an amazing superpower to have um, at that age. Um, and also there's a storm coming in a couple of days and I think she's going to try and prevent the storm. I don't want to go that way. Um, there's also a comic book for Life is Strange. I don't know what it's tied into, but I think I have issue one. I, I got it years ago. Um, and I was like, you know, someday I'll play Life is Strange and I'll understand what the comic book's about. But I think I there's also... there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Um, there's also uh, Life is Strange 2, but I don't think that's tied in. There's also a demo which you can play for free uh, called um, Captain... I think it's like Captain Underpants. Maybe someone can GTS it. It's called Captain Underpants. Or the adventures of Captain Underpants or something something like that. Um, it's a very short story driven experience. Bonfire, bonfire, where are you? I can't see any bonfires. Am I missing something? There's a stump. We can sit by the stump. Um Nightbot Redeem. Oh you know I'm gonna sip that green tea, thank you, Nightbot. Uh, maybe there's some more bottles we can find. Nope, I don't want to go there. If you guys could have one superpower during uh, year 12 or year 13, what would it be? Syringes? Okay, so we've been here. Gun shells. We haven't seen those. 
Those shells look fresh. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world <laughs> bow. Are you ready for that? No way. No way. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Okay, so this is just like a kind of a joke to Chloe at this point, and um, we clearly see that when she rewinds time, it, it does affect her. She has this nosebleed, and uh, I mean, it's got to be taking its toll on something. Uh, Mr. Dragon 1987 telepathy. See, the thing with telepathy is I would love to have that, but sometimes it's like, do I even want to know what some of these people are thinking about? I don't know. Um, do we need some more balls? But yeah, that's a good one, telepathy. Um, hard to compete with rewinding time. The ability to pause time would be pretty great too. Sigmar Kane. Everyone knows you're, you're, you don't have a secret identity. Nope, everyone knows, I don't want to go there. Everyone knows you are, you are Vic. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Um, but yeah, that was always one of the ones I chose. You know, when I asked the question, like if you could have any three superpowers, what would they be? And then one of mine was always, um, I think it was telekinesis. It wasn't telepathy, but time travel or the ability to manipulate time. Um, because at the end of the day, like I think, oh, what's this? The Bigfoots were here. Sigma Kane, the man with a thousand and two Twitter accounts. <laughs> There's a plank here. We can move this. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Oh, okay. So it's kind of given us a uh, a way to get on the ball. So let's take that. Three down, Three. two more to go. Each knee. Talk about sun. finding a bottle in a haystack. Um. So there's two more. There must be an easier way to kind of um find all of these these balls. There's three. Although this junkyard is a dive. I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Nice moment, a uh, nice little uh, breather break. Um, I don't believe there's anything we can do else here. Anything else we can do here is what I meant to say. Um, so we're going to go back. Um, eagle vision would be good, you know, at this point in time. Uh, an Ezio ability to kind of... The Bigfoots were here. Scan the environment to find these balls. Because I'm guessing that there might be one in that little hut. Could be wrong. There's got to be something in here. So this is like a, um, a make. Okay, so this is a makeup case. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. There's a bracelet. That kind of hurts. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. So Rachel is the name of the missing girl. Uh, so there's a missing girl that we've been seeing posters for and it turns out she was really good friends with Chloe who is the blonde Sorry, blue-haired girl who's just getting us to look for balls who was friends with Max since I think before they were 13 and then they didn't see each other for five years. Now they're both 18 and they're kind of reconnecting. And here we are. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. I rem 
This reminds me of a story time, but I don't think I want to tell it here. Um, oh, there you are, little bottle. I'm trying to play hide and seek. One more bottle to go. Ouch. There's a ton of graffiti uh, in this place. Uh, we got a message from Kate. Max, sorry to have to bother you for asking for your advice. Uh, I guess I shouldn't go, uh, I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is not so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really need a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. XO, talk to you later. So I don't know, Vic, do you remember the story? Like we made, uh, we, okay, I might as well just tell a quick story time. So with the CD, we made... Uh, Rachel we, songs. We, we got, I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a We mistake. made one of these for like, I think Anno's, like, I don't know what birthday it was, but it was like, we literally got all of our friends to like, do kind of remixes for songs on, <laughs> on like an album. It was like a mini album, of like maybe seven or eight songs. Uh, and it was like just the instrumentals with like with all of us doing lyrics for each of the songs but they would all be songs just taking the piss out of Anno and if he's still here like I hope he's I think he might even still have that CD somewhere I don't know but this was like um, a long while ago but yeah we've, we've done something similar to that effect I wish I still had that stuff um, Mr. Dragon uh, look out that window I'm just curious as to what you can see out the window okay Short sure thing, la la land this way. Um, so I want to die. <sighs> Jeez, who um, wrote this? Jimmy Havoc was here. Um, there's nothing I can interact with, but this is the view kind of outside uh, the window. There's a leaflet here. So Rachel did go to a vortex club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Block party vortex club. Okay. Chloe was here. Rachel was here. Ah, uh, do we write here or do we just leave it be? Let's, let's, let's. I don't know. Let's. Boy, well, it's given us the option to write. Let's write. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. So obviously the butterfly in the top left of the screen means that it's affected something in the branching timeline. So we've affected the fabric of the the nature of the game. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's affected the uh, the branching story. It's affected something. Okay, it's affected future. So something that's there's a there's um something that's gonna happen um, because of that. But anyway, yeah, Vic. I don't know if you remember. We made him the CD. It was like it was like years ago. Okay, so there's something out here, eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. A lot of like strange graffiti. I'm guessing this, whoa, that bird just attacked the shit out of us. But I'm sure there's a bottle somewhere out here. Oh yes, yes, I just saw something. Alright, there we go. So we need a way to get into the middle of all of these, um, middle of what, yeah, see? I, <laughs> I wish, I think he still has that CD. I'm very curious to see how stupid we sound um, on the CD. I'm very curious to see what kind of... Uh, dumb lyrics we came up with. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. It, it was a thoughtful gift. Um, it was a lot of effort. It was a lot of creative energy. Um, but it was fun. I, I hope he still has it. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. We gave you a guitar on your birthday. And um, you ended up never using it. This is a lot of story times right now, isn't it? <laughs> I bet he keeps it in the Shenmue case. <laughs> That's how special it is. Don't even get us started about Shenmue. Terrible game. Um, but yeah, yeah, we gave you a guitar, and then you never learned how to use the guitar. Uh, I tried to use it though, honest. Yeah, no, no. I. The good thing is, I think your brother learned guitar from from that gift, which is cool. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Okay, so we need to rewind time. We need to get in and out or something. I don't know. Did we take the ball? We did take the ball, right? We have the ball. Three, four, five balls, yeah. Uh, Sigma Kane, yeah, man. He really got into uh, guitar and music thanks to that. See, I wish 
If I could rewind time, I wish I would have, uh... Actually, to be fair, I could still get into it. Because I got gifted a, um... It's very loud. This train is so disrespectful. I'm trying to talk. I know. Um, I actually got gifted an electric guitar. I think it was like in December. Um, but it doesn't have an amp. So I was very confused. I was like, can I still play this like it's an acoustic guitar? Like, does this thing need electricity you've got running through? I, I, don't, I really didn't know. So um, before I go around to actually going... I don't want to go that way. To, to kind of find an amp. Because there's a specific place like on the way to Forbidden Planet in central London. There's like, you guys must know there's, um, there's all these music shops. So I wanted to go there and actually take the guitar and, and kind of get someone to look at it and then see what was a good amp and then kind of start learning from there. But before that could happen, we all ended up indoors um, indefinitely. So <laughs> whenever we get time, I think I might, I might do that. I might, I don't know, find a pocket of time and then just practice for like maybe 10 minutes a day or something. Uh, where's Chloe? Uh, he's learning the ukulele now. Oh, nice. The ukulele is like, um, is that like, a, uh, I want to say, it's either one of two things. It's either a flute or like a banjo type thing, right? Or am I completely off the mark? Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. You have to help me I need to, to see you shoot first. Okay, so I'm guessing we rewind a little bit. No. So I guess we need to turn the camera, is that what that means? Before we do that, I'm going to sip some green tea. Thank you, Cookie Monster, for the sip of green tea. Uh, so before I do that, Sigma Cane, like a small banjo, yeah. Oh, okay, nice. So is that, I'm guessing that might be easier than learning actual guitar, right? I mean, I don't know how many strings a uh, ukulele has, so maybe it's harder than a guitar, I'm not sure. Or is it very similar? Uh, she needs to aim right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Show me the aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Nice. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Slightly above, right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Uh, okay, so the options are the tire thing, the Hello, something else. Hello, what should I shoot? Let's shoot the mono. Fine, since you won't play, I'm gonna shoot this barrel. Yawn. Oh. Listen to those fat bullet beats! That could go wrong. Listen to those fat... Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame.
That was awesome, but Chloe wants those bottles now. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. Uh, so... Uh, did the barrel work? I don't know. Let's try the plank. Maybe Hello? try the rim Let's here. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, oh. I shot myself! Ah, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. See, I knew something dumb was gonna happen. I knew something dumb was gonna happen. A cruel bumper. No, 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 no. We don't wanna shoot you twice. So, um, shoot, shoot the, uh, well, tire. Well, Max? How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Oh, that works. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! So it looks like the game has saved again. Uh, Cookie Monster, if this was Until Dawn, one of them would have died from this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, almost. But in Until Dawn, we can't rewind time. As soon as something happens, boom. Auto save Jones. Uh, Mr. Dragon, oh shit. Hashtag. Hashtag oh shit. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so... Wait a minute. Did you just say I missed the fall opportunity? Oh. You will... I'm like breaking the game trying to do it. Ah, uh, let's see... Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the, um, I'm trying to think. Maybe the mystery person is next. Owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. So wait, when Chloe was lying on the car? Okay, so let's reload last checkpoint.
Okay, so we can't skip this. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. Mm. Glad I feel normal again. I see it now. I better go chat up Chloe. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. So there we go. It's called Colorized, uh, three of five. Um, and then one is the mystery person and then, yeah, one more. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Oh, this, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. This is a tough one that I don't want to make a decision for. I mean, I guess we don't have to shoot him, but I'm going to leave it in your hands because I want to sip some water. Uh, so we're going to go with one if you want to shoot the guy. We're going to go with two if you don't want to shoot the guy. That's one to shoot, two to don't shoot. I'm going to sip some water. Are we still on? What the fuck is going on? You guys are fucking disappointing. <laughs> <coughs> I don't want to shoot the guy. Um, fucking disappointed right there. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My stepshit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. 
He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Let's hope Frank doesn't try and kill anyone. Uh, Mr. Dragon is your chat closer. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Uh, I don't know. Let's hit a little F5 action. Maybe it is. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, if someone can type something now, I'll test it out. I think it was either just really delayed. Um, oh, it might have been frozen, yeah. One, two. Or maybe the browser, I'm not sure. Just another day of Max's fucked up wife. Or could it be the audio? I don't know. Pause for the cause for a second. Can you hear me fine? Okay, let me ask that first. Uh, I am seeing this. But I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, you can hear it fine. Okay, that's fine. No, I was just a bit concerned there. Um, because I wasn't sure what was going on. Is quite I've got a very good bit rate. It might be your browser. Um, yeah, everything looks good on my end. I'm just going to continue. Time to go get Chloe. I wonder um, if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. I mean, so long as you can hear me, it's all good. It's all gravy. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Okay, so... In terms of les pictures, les photographs, uh, we need to take two more. So one mystery person and a little vowel thing. Okay, let's leave the junkyard. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe. This is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? 
You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. Think, think, think. What are the options here? Find something! Gravy! Nope, I don't want to go there. Why would you not want to go there? There might be something there that you can Come use. Uh, lever. I can't even move it an inch. Please, get me out of here! Oh, fuck's sake. Awesome, it's not locked. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Tools, tools, tools. Where would they be tools? The train's coming! Max, please! Where the fuck would there be tools in the middle of this? Oh my god. Max, get me out of here! Please. Shit, I can't budge it at all! Oh, fuck that. No, no, no. We have to rewind a lot of time. Come on, Max. Hurry. Okay, we can't do anything. We're going to Please, the get me out of here. tool to cut those wires. MacGyver. Please get me out of here. In and out, no problem. 
She's so slow. She's so annoyingly slow. What? What? Damn! Something is blocking the drum. Again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <sighs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Principal, uh, Wells. So are you going to that void, Principal void, complete Martin. void. school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Swim like an auto. Justin always looks stoned. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. And nowhere else we can go? These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. There's someone outside the window looking in. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Hmm. Do we speak to him or do we just avoid him? Max, can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? 
Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. All right, fair dues. Warren, sit down, science something. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no shorting as Kitty. See you soon. Sci-fi lab. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. We could, but we want to find this window. I had to score some weed from Nathan. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. What happened to her? Stop! Don't come near me! Think, big brain, think. This can't be that hard. Bring me the brain, Igor. Talk to Warren. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Well, it just so happens that if we make a mistake, we can rewind time. I have a vision. Go diem. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Chemistry stuff. Okay, so we can't take a picture. So let's rewind time. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver? Asking me for a... I have to add either a... I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but... Go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Oh my god. Weird science. I guess I didn't I don't know if that worked either. Bring me the brain, Igor. 
Hmm. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. That's a minor fail. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver? Asking me? Have that either? <laughs> I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Mr. Dragon, maybe ask the teacher and get the answer. Yeah, but this is kind of fun. I think maybe we try lots of sodium this time. If that's an option. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's. Have that. Uh, okay, so we can't do it. I actually think. See? Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, I would add chlorine. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max, we'll talk again. Real soon. Okay, so yes, yeah, so let's go back to the science experiment. And this is, yeah, this should be a follow up after this. Hey, Warren. Max. Asking me for help? Have that even. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Whoa. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. There we go, problem solved. Bronze trophy incoming and it's That it was, was fun cold. helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Meter made. It's a bronze trophy. I believe we have one more left of a, of a mystery figure next to a window. And the game has kind of saved itself. Da Vinci was a boss. Science is art and art is science. I 
I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. I wonder where Kate went, because she, she kind of stormed off somewhere. Maybe she's. No, not in the bathroom. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. So we can't really talk to a lot of these characters at the moment. We kind of look at them. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Oh, I, I think that's improper use of that term, but okay. Evan, we can talk to him. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? <laughs> like, fuck that. Oh, what happened with uh, Kate and this guy? Jefferson Jones. Excuse me, Max? Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I...? Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. 
Okay, Resolution Revolution is the name of the last photo op trophy, and that is um, all ten for episode two. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. I think your, uh, <laughs> I think your browser is kind of lagged. Uh, cause I saw all that like right after it happened. So I'm guessing you yeah, maybe Chrome is kind of funny when it comes to the the actual window. Okay, so Do you think Victoria. Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to drop Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Don't like worry, Max. I won't ask you again like to pose for me. Max is such a little... Are you pissed I didn't let you sketch me yesterday? I'm just shy. I get so embarrassed. Trust me, I understand. I'd love to get a second chance at art history with you. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Mm, these two ass hats. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn! Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna sit here and wait for something to happen. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. You Max, put that away. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never... That is a scary looking drawing. ...or take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Capturing the image by Mark Jefferson. Photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. 
Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Hold on, just give me one second. So we're kind of moving through time. Which is probably going to give her a major nosebleed, but we have to do it. Where are we going even? Gabe to take the attention out of a situation. <laughs> okay, so we're moving through. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Hey, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. 
think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Mm, I'm not gonna say your mother or father because I, I don't I remember them being kind of funny. about your brothers they need their sister you don't know me at all max i told you i only have sisters Shit. you never listen because you don't give a damn you will now no 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 what the fuck I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. And Nathan Dosta, Jefferson made her cry. But Jefferson only made her cry because she was already upset about uh, be, being bullied by David. David says he's looking out for everyone. I don't know. Nathan just seems like the dick, but obviously he would just get away with everything. This is a truly fucked up situation. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> Without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. 
I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh, okay, so he gets suspended. Let's see what, what are the options. Let's see what happens. By the way, Gabe, is this the first time you're seeing this? Have you seen this played before? And is American school system, is the American school system this fucked up? Because this is some fucked up shit. Uh, so this time, let's try and, uh, I don't know, blaming Jefferson seems very, uh, let's see, let's see what happens. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, falsely accusing other people seems to be a habit with you. I trust my security officer. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm with... I think we should just blame Nathan. Um, because either way he's getting suspended. Um, and then with David not on our back, we can kind of maybe find, we could probably maneuver around a bit better. I don't know. Uh, David Jefferson, Nathan. All Prescott, I've been t I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Cop. Fuck it. We've made the decision and we're going to stick with it. Let's sign the statement. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Uh, Mr. Dragon, I would have tried to restart and stop him from jumping. Yeah, well, yeah, it is what it is. I just uh, can't invasive. believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. 
Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.
All right, guys, hopefully you can you can hear me. Um, we're just going to quickly go over some of the decisions we made uh, in Out of Time, which is episode two of Life is Strange. Um, so we were with 68% of people that told Kate to wait for more proof. Uh, we were with 79% of people who answered Kate's call. Um, 21% of these people did not answer her call. Um, we didn't try to shoot Frank and we're in the minority there, but it's pretty, it's pretty even. We're with the 48%, 52% of people, uh, tried to shoot Frank. So I'm guessing you don't kill him anyway. It says tried to shoot Frank. Um, wow. Okay. So, th you know, what I was thinking this whole time, maybe Kate dies and it's not like a branching story, but it looks like, uh, 56% of people will save Kate's life. We were in the 44% that didn't. Still, again, pretty even. So I'm guessing this is going to be... I don't know how much it's going to impact the other three episodes that we have left. Because I thought maybe it's one of the... I started thinking maybe it's one of those scenarios where she just dies either way. But it's clearly not the case. Um, and in the end, we went with 70% of people. And we blamed Nathan. 17% um, of people blamed Mr. Jefferson. They just seem... I don't know. He, he seemed like the least... Uh, guilty party and then 13 percent that's weird to see that more people blame mr jefferson even though again a low percentage is most people uh went and blamed nathan so yes if you're watching this on the youtube this is a good place to call it so i want to thank you for giving me a bite-sized chunk of your day wherever or whenever you're watching this on the youtubes and if you're on the youtubes know that i'm currently moving along the path towards 100 subscribers so I ask, would you kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube? And if you like what you saw, click me a thumbs up. And hey, whilst you're doing all that, you might as well leave a comment with your thoughts below. I'd love to hear from you. And be sure to check out the notes in the description of this video. I look forward to you joining me again.